18 County Young Farmer Achievement winners competed this year for the Tennessee Young Farmer of the Year. And that announcement of the state winners came during the group's annual summer conference held at the Farm Bureau Expo Center in Lebanon. I am pleased to announce that the 2022 Tennessee Young Farm Bureau Federation Achievement Award Young Farmer of the Year winner is Derek and Mayla, Michaela Giffen of Obion County. In keeping with long-standing tradition, Derek and Michaela Giffen were announced as this year's Tennessee Young Farmers of the Year at the annual Tennessee Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers Summer Conference. This year, the conference was held for the first time in Lebanon at the Farm Bureau Expo Center. It's uh, extremely high honor. I've, I've been coming here, I guess, since I was 18, and I've been watching, you know, other families uh, be chosen and. <laughs> Never thought that would be us, so it's very humbling. Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, we're very thankful for everything Farm Bureau has done for us and uh, tons of opportunities to learn and grow and create friendships, and it's been fantastic. It's just incredible to me because uh, over the years watching the other award winners, you see their farms and you think just how unbelievable they are, and you meet the people and, and they're incredible too. So just to be uh, numbered among them is just so humbling and just it just is really incredible. The majority of our production comes from corn, soybeans and wheat. We harvest them and they either get taken to the river um, to the ethanol plant at Obion. Uh, we do take a lot to the Tyson feed mill at South Fulton. Right now we have approximately 50,000 bushels of storage. Um, we do have a few center pivots. We occasionally add some small grains to our crop rotation that's really just to kind of help with diversity and we do raise some of our own cover crop seed. Um, in the past, we have produced and sold grass hay. Uh, we do still have a small herd of cows. It allows us to produce calves that we know and we use those for our custom beef. That gives us kind of an opportunity for a presence in the community. It gives us a chance to network and create a brand. Uh, it's given us an online presence. Our cow herd is small right now, um, but all of the calves that we wean will graze on winter cover crops. Then in the spring, we'll either be marketed to other people who have feedlots and want to feed them out. It just feels so special and, and it's just such an honor to be recognized for the work and the effort that we put into it. And um, yeah, it was surreal. Yeah, there's been a lot of countless hours spent, you know, working toward trying to be the best we can be on every aspect. and. Uh, just to be included in this now really means a whole lot. The Giffins are also this year's District 1 winners. Carrie Robinson of Franklin County finished second in the Achievement Award and is the District 3 winner. Other district winners include District 2, Philip Berry, Wayne County, District 4 winner Martin Grissom of Warren County, and District 5 winner Emmy Armstrong of Green County. And Cody Grills took home this year's Environmental Stewardship Award, and Rebecca Fincham of the University of Tennessee Knoxville won the collegiate discussion meet. While the annual Young Farmer Olympics did not happen this year, some traditions must continue. State Chairman Rob Holman received a warm but messy honor from attendees as he was doused with silly string. And the annual rope pulling contest continued as District 5 took home the first place honors there. Young Farmers to me is just leadership. Young Farmers is amazing. It's been an amazing opportunity to come and see so many other folks my age and just connect with them and uh, be a part of this great event. Young Farmers and Ranchers is enriching. Young Farmers is great! From fun and games to guest speakers and discussion meet, this year's Tennessee Young Farmers and Ranchers Summer Conference was great indeed. Being held for the first time at the Farm Bureau Expo Center in Lebanon, Tennessee, this year's Wife and Our Conference had a great turnout. We got a record crowd here this weekend, uh, largest ever, great participation. Young farmers from everywhere, all the way from Northwest Tennessee to Northeast Tennessee, and, and so we all gathered together in one place, and this what Young Farmers is all about, is making those connections and networking and, and building those relationships. I was heavily involved during high school in 4-H, and uh, having the opportunity to come into YFNR uh, has really just been the next level in my commitment to agriculture. And it's a natural step from FFA and 4-H moving into college. You feel like you're surrounded by people that understand exactly where you came from. Um, and it's nice to diversify and, and meet people that um, 
you're different then, but every every now and then, about four times a year, it's really nice to just be surrounded with a bunch of like-minded people um, and just kind of relate to them. We all have such busy schedules and we don't get that much opportunity to fellowship and be together collectively at one time. And so being able to come to conferences like this, give us that time to fellowship, talk to one another face to face. The Farm Bureau is the strongest voice of agriculture in the state of Tennessee and probably the, the whole nation. And the Young Farmers Organization is here to preserve that strength and keep that going so we can keep Farm Bureau as great of an organization as it is today. And our congratulations to the Giffins of O'Brien County, a dedicated farm family in Northwest Tennessee.